Hey guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2008 Finn B70 RHD. So what this is, this is a right hand feed straw blower. So this unit is made to be a skid mounted unit. You'll find a lot of these guys will mount them at the back of a 30 foot flatbed truck or on a, this particular unit was on a 20, um, 20 foot um, tandem axle trailer and they made it so it fit on the back. I still have the trailer I'm selling it separately. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, very nice straw blower. Starts and runs excellent. I've done a bunch of service work to this machine and we went over it and I'm going to show you everything we did. Um, very good running working machine. It is all original paint. There is 665 hours on it. Blower housing is in beautiful condition. Uh, we used to do a ton of straw blowers. The problem is you can't find them anymore. Uh, they've updated these to a three cylinder Yanmar with a DPF burner on them and they're not the same. In my opinion, this is a non admissions four cylinder Kubota um, V1505. Be very careful out there right now. There's some guys advertising some straw blowers that aren't telling the truth. They are the old Finn straw blower that had the Kubota V1703 on it, or 1702. And how you tell the difference is the style of the radiator. This radiator has a removable mesh screen that is pulled out from the top. The older units, they'll have a big square box here on the end with two pieces of V-shaped round bar that secures a screen in. Those were older units. Every one of those older units had cylinder head problems. It was nothing to do with fin. It was an issue in those engines with Kubota. Um, they went to the V1505. Another way to tell is a uh, the older series is a three cylinder. These are a four cylinder. And big difference. The 1505 is a true tried test tested engine, non emissions, and it'll run forever if you keep the air cleaners changed and you keep your radiator flushed out. Um, we're going to walk you around this machine. I'm going to show you everything we did to it when we went over it. Um, for starters, right here, there was a broken latch. Put it in brand new. Um, the overflow jug. This They vibrate, they'll crack, and they start to leak. Brand new one from Kubota put on. Radiator. We pulled it out, had it checked to make sure everything was good because we did detect that there was a small crack at the bottom of the neck. We fixed that. Um, I went ahead while the radiator was out. It's just something that I keep them on the shelf. I went ahead and I put a brand new engine fan in from Kubota. Uh, they get start to get brittle and whatnot, so we went ahead and did that. Um, alternator was not charging. I'm going to put an alternator on it, brand new. We did change the oil and filter. Everything there is new, done. And one other thing I did to this unit. The muffler itself was starting to get that typical decay that these get. That is a $600 muffler. I put a brand new muffler on it, brand new gasket. Everything is done, updated, and taken care of. One other thing is a little pet peeve of mine on these. Finn always used to use a glass tube style fuse on those. So those glass tube style fuses would get condensation in them and you'd go out one day they wouldn't start. So I updated it to new style 30 amp uh, push type blade fuse. Um, there again, we do go through our stuff. We like to know what we have. Inline fuel filter is new. Air filter is new. Spin on fuel filter is new. Um, throttle cable. I put a brand new throttle cable on. I have to get them from Finn and I about scream every time I buy them because they're ridiculous. But it's part of it. They're actually not that bad. They're like 70 bucks. But it's new and updated. Um, I did put the new nylon blocks here uh, so that your turret chute uh, spins nice and free. Coming around to the blower end, the business end of this unit, right here it is. Inside the blower housing, the, the fan is beautiful shape. The beater chains are in nice shape. It does have a new battery in it. So keep in mind when buying this blower, we have went through, we've serviced it, we went over it. Um, you know, there again, this is what I like to do when we sell equipment. So I know what I have. This all does cost money to do that. There's a lot of people out there selling stuff that basically they don't know anything other than starts and runs. That's it. So, and they ask the same money I do, but that's just the way the world works today. So, I'm going to fire this thing up. Oh, I even put a brand new horn on it. We'll fire this machine up. We're going to show you everything works. We're going to engage the clutch and um, run it for you here and show you everything does what it's supposed to do. So, engine is excellent. There's no blow by. Uh, these do have a center lifting point right here. So, on these fins, I have watched guys over the years take 
and just jam the clutch in wide open. Don't do that. Take your clutch. You're going to take it up here till you start to feel it make contact. Let it start, let off. Take it back up. Click in nice and easy like it's supposed to, okay? Bring your throttle up. What you like to do then, let it spool down. Don't just reach up and cut off the clutch. Let that thing spool down. Let it come back down to engine RPM to match up with the actual fan to the engine. Then what you're going to do, put your safety pin in, reach up here, cut your clutch out. That's it. All the safety stuff works, like your Murphy switch, all that works. You can hear right there the fan is still spooling down, that's what you want to hear. One other thing we did do also, I put a new oil drain hose on it. So these do have an oil drain hose in here that clips inside the frame rail and allows you to pull that hose out, drain it from the application where you may have it uh, attached to or however you're doing it. We've had guys buy these, attach them to Maruka, rubber track dump trucks, um, all kinds of different applications. And there again, the blower housing is still spooling down. It is finally coming to the slow. Um, again, all the filters are changed. We have went through new fan belt also. Uh, we went through and did it right. It is a very good uh, running working skid mounted unit. These are getting harder to find. Uh, I know that there's two for sale right now. And in my opinion, they're as rough as cobs. <laughs> I mean, they are rough. And you can see here, this one is not beat on the blower housing. That's what you want to look for. Matt, real quick, we'll show them over here. This side of the blower housing on any straw blower, that's what you want to look at. This blower housing is all original paint. It's not all beat up, bent up. I have seen this with what they call chain bruising, where it had a rock go through it or something, and it'll scar that whole blower housing. This is not like that. It's a nice straight machine. If you got any questions, 814-658-3066. And on a right-hand feed, if I can lift this up here myself, you pull this feed table up. Feed table will go right in there. Always have that pulled out before engaging your fan, but that is how it is designed to stow. If you got any questions on this fin, B70 RHD, let us know. 665 hours, Kubota V1505 four cylinder diesel. Be glad to help in any way that we can. 814 658 3066. As always, thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.